Well, now, here we are. Still in New Prithia, and I've just been over and filmed Harris's Bar. Very nice place. I'm sitting outside the local Cafe Neon. Yammers! <laughs> uh, yesterday we went up to Old Prithia, which is a beautiful village, a lovely drive, lots of nice views. But well worth the trip, and enjoy the video, and certainly go and see it all. So here in New Perithia, this is Taverna Harry's. Very, very popular in the winter with the Greeks in the evenings and weekends. And beautiful local food. So it's a good place to come if you like Greek food. This is New Perithia's local Cafe Neon. Very nice place. Local Cafe Neon. Oh, those of you who know Costa's boat, Christina, in the harbour. Cosmic travel. This is winter. Well, we've just got up to Old Perithia, way, way up in the hills. Up there is the mast of Pantocrata, which is the highest just mountain in Corfu. Now there is a taverna here closed in the winter but open in the summer because after driving up here you really do need a drink. This used to be an incredibly old abandoned village. Nice cellar, and this goes through to the back rooms there. Of course, you do need to take a bit of a big step to get to the other rooms. That's Mrs. Corfuel. And of course someone's owned a boutique bed and breakfast or why anyone would want to stay up here I have no idea. An abundance of old houses. course one hell of a task if you want to renovate one of these places. Beautiful roof. <laughs> I used to do this sort of work years ago. Now this one's for sale. A lot of money. Lovely floor. Some crazy person will buy it with lots of dough to waste. And another small taverna, Cafe Neon. When I came up here 30 years ago, there was nothing, just ruined houses. Well, really, this has gone from a place of derelict properties, and here in the square, there's 
one and spinning round two and turning round here three to Verna's in the square from nothing yet no one hardly lives here There's some uh, houses over there. I must say, it's very attractive up here. But, really, I wouldn't want to live here in the winter. The road is tortuous. The interesting thing, when I came up here 30 years ago, there wasn't even electric up here. Now there is. Of course, all these old villages up in the hills that are abandoned, there's a story about them. True or not, I don't know. But in the old days, way back when, pirates used to raid the coastal villages. So everyone moved up into the hills to avoid getting graped and pillaged and everything else. And of course, as modern times came, and the pirates stopped coming, they moved back to the coast again and the villages were just abandoned. That's the story. True or not, who knows? Now here coming up is a fine old property. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go and have a look inside if we can. Walking, looking at the floor. <laughs> ah, one room. Make a nice bathroom. And so with this one. Hello, bit of graffiti. Ben from Bristol, going home after 11 years. Too long, dude. 2013. <laughs> a lot of people don't stay. Here we go. This is a nice lounge. Can you imagine the expense of restoring this place? God. Going upstairs. You'll excuse me if I don't go inside and walk on this floor. It appears to have major woodworms. Must be big buggers. A little bit of rot as well, I'd say. But a lovely sized room nonetheless. Well, I seem to have lost Mrs. Corfuel somewhere. I don't know where. I'd better go quick. Well, I've got the chance. Well, if you're going to come up here, you have to come into Taverna Old Perithia, which is where we are now. Beautiful little sombre, nice and warm, although it's damn cold outside. Can you marry? Nice little place. Even the bedstead chairs over the back there. This I found yesterday. Many English people they all signed it. Oh, of course. Yes, it's good. 
home. Just because home. you are a resident of here, of, you of live Corfu. Here. No yeah. Perry there, but of Corfu. Yes, of Corfu, and we around here. We live at East Pennsylvania. I, mean, I know. I have a <laughs> house. Albania, this is Albania over the water, as viewed from Perithia, old Perithia. Still Albania across the water. We're on the way down actually, from old Perithia, so I'll be doing a few shots on the way down. Now I don't know guys what village this is, but Mrs. Corfu Al, turn the radio off, Mrs. Corfu Al is going to film going through the village. Could be Lutzus, but I don't know. You'll go through this village on the way up to Old Perithia. Mainly I'm looking to see if there's a bar open. Having been treated at the old Perithia Taverna to a very generous glasses of wine at a very reasonable price. Um, whoops, move over out, mad sod. So, somehow I'll find out the name of this village as I go through. I think there's a sign there actually saying what the village name is. No, it isn't. <laughs> it was closed. Can you imagine living up here in the winter? We're way, way up in the hills. Something interesting at the side of the road. It's a long zoom, so I'm sorry about the shaky picture, guys. We're now coming into New Perithia, which is at the bottom of the uh, road. Nice place, some lovely tavernas, well, one's for sure lovely taverna, which I'm going to go in tomorrow, because I really, I used to eat there many years ago. I haven't been in there for a few years, give it a wipe. This is winter, so you've got to expect a bit of rain. I don't normally film through a car window, but Mrs. Corfu Al Lynn is doing it. I'll get him on the way back. So, there we go. Now, if you think you've got bad driving in England, you haven't seen nothing yet. Right, we're almost down the hill. I'll tell you something. Oh, that village, by the way, I believe was Lutzus. I haven't been up here in 30 years, so I do forget. I'm 75 now and my memory is going. We're coming into the down New Perithia proper. There we are. And I'm going to stop at the local Cafe Neon. Over the road is Harry's Taverna. I'm going to pop down in the morning, have a chat with the owner because I used to eat there quite regularly and the food is bloody good. Time for a wee jam after that road. Cheers.